So hello there, this is a guide on how to use Lamy converters for all Lamy pens, like Lamy Safari fountain pens, which are so good, so popular. Now I have a number of Lamy pens, Lamy Safaris, Lamy All Stars, and you can see inside um, I have ink converters in pretty much all of them. And that might be something you can see through the transparent one, but you can also just unscrew the ink holding area where you put your cartridge and you'll see I've got this funny little ink converter. The ink converters stay in by a couple of little dots which sort of fit neatly inside. So you just wiggle and pull and it will just gently come out. And you can see it's an ink it basically an ink cartridge full of ink. Um, now the big advantage of these is, uh, apart from being cheaper because you can bulk buy ink, um, it's that you can use like any ink or any fountain pen safe ink. So I've got a Waterman ink here and a carbon ink. So one's water soluble, one's waterproof, one's brown, one's black. And it doesn't matter. I can swap and change. I don't have to just stick with Lamy Safari or Lamy ink cartridges. So how do we actually fill the cartridge? Well, there's a simple screw mechanism. You screw it one way, which I believe is clockwise and it will push out. And if you screw anti-clockwise, it will suck up the ink. So all you need is a big tub of ink. We can get these anywhere. I've got a few linked on my website if you want to have a look there of fountain pen safe inks. And the first option is to just dip your ink cartridge, ink converter in, screw it round and you'll suck up that ink. Now the second option is to put the ink converter inside your pen. And then instead of dipping the ink cartridge in, you dip the nib of the pen in. And this is probably the cleaner and easier way to do it, but both ways are fine depending on what you find better. And all you do then is you screw screw up that um, converter and you'll find that you suck up all the ink. Sometimes you get a little air bubble, so you might need to just push out that air bubble and suck up a tiny bit more ink again. But that's not a problem, even if you leave the air bubble. It's not really a problem, just means there's less ink. I'm also a bit clumsy, so if I do it this way, I often have to wipe the nib of my pen down because I've dipped it in too far. Um, but the advantage of doing it this way around, option two, is not only is your ink cartridge full, but also the ink is already absorbed all the way through your pen, so immediately you'll have an amazing flow of ink. And we can just really quickly test out We've gone from a completely empty ink cartridge to an immediately writing pen, which is great, really convenient. So now you understand how to use an ink converter and why to use one. And um, you just need to be careful that when you go out and you're happily shopping and buying some lovely new inks to play with, because you don't have to stick with just Lamy's homemade inks. Don't buy things like India ink. They are the ones which will bung up your fountain pen. Just make sure you're not ruining your fountain pen. You're buying lovely fountain pen safe ink. And with that, I'll say thank you very much. Please do like and subscribe and check out my next video. Got a recommended one on the right and on the left, my latest upload. Thank you for watching.